All right, this is that little streak of beans where I cleaned out the uh, grain drill last year and planted the last bit of seed that I had because I said something about I'd rather have it in the ground than sitting in the shop. Uh, this turned out pretty good. And this is that little spot right over here that I was calling the world's uh, smallest soybean field. All right, this right here um, didn't get any fertilizer because I wasn't really planning to have beans on it. But... I'll give you a look at how things are coming along here. Day September, Sunday, September, I don't know. But uh, without any fertilizer, that's what they're doing right over here on the edge. You can see. And it's probably going to turn out to be about average of what I've always done with no fertilizer because I still see a lot of undeveloped pods on them it's like that one there got undeveloped pods that are not going to develop I've watched it year after year but then you see that there are pods that are developing and see that stuff right there they're done they'll never fill in the ones down here will be what you get and there's a little more down in there but the fertilizer thing where I put fertilizer and we'll go look at a little bit of that all right I'm up here on the back side of the six acre field and huge difference you can see beans on this little plants right on the edge of the field and then there's another one right there huge difference that one right there beans all up and down that stalk there's still the little aborted ones but nowhere near the number of aborted ones watch out these fire ants there's one right there that looks decent beans coming up all down it the hurricane brought the very much needed water this variety of beans credenza uh, let's see, what were they? 7007, CZ7007. They are not drought tolerant, worth a flip. They get dried out and they, they just don't do. But on this plant here, it gives you an idea of how that's doing. And as I've walked around and looked over the field, that's pretty much what's going on out here as a result of fertilizer. There's a little abortion right here that's not going to develop, but still, there's a good amount of beans on that plant. Anyhow, that's what's going on with that. And the fire ants are back. There's one there and uh, one there. I want to get into those. I need to get out here and spray them. All right, let's go get rid of the wood.